Reporting to you live here from Stock Market near Bassler's in front of Toronto. It's live from last week, episode 159. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Welcome, my fellow tier walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, going back to our New Year's Eve celebrations, where I went to the Bentway for my first time at Toronto's Polar Bear Skate. This guy just may have made a cameo on TV. So in this video, guys, let me know if you had found me. There's just one more thing left to say. Happy New Year! But yeah, at work, during my night shift afterwards, celebrating New Year's Eve with my colleagues for the first time in two years, just like I did in previous years past. Here's a photo of me on New Year's in 2020, and here's a reenactment of that photo for New Year's 2022. I had taken the traditional picture of me cleaning up all the confetti from the confetti balloons that we popped during our New Year's Eve celebrations. But now, on to last night, prior to going into work, and recalling a couple days ago that our refrigerator slash freezer had decided to die on us, just after all the Boxing Day deals had expired, our dear friend Andrea had paid us a visit to save the day, delivering to us and letting us borrow a mini fridge that she had around her place for the wife and I to use in the meantime. And yeah guys, after going in for my 8th shift in 11 nights last night, redeeming my holiday vouchers that I got from the hospital to get this huge haul of food from Second Cup and Aroma, directly post-shift, I picked up the wife to take her to Home Depot to go refrigerator shopping. And after staying there looking at fridges up until 11 a.m., we made our way back to the condo to finally enjoy that food that I got from Aroma earlier. Finally heading to the bedroom for my post-shift nap at 1 p.m., sleeping in my own bedroom for the first time since the wife wasn't feeling well all last week. Guess who just laid down for an hour, only to not be able to sleep at all. Getting up to try to be productive, with their day. So yeah, recalling how a couple of days ago, the mini on the dashboard was giving me several warnings telling me things that was wrong with her, including this new warning in the afternoon that's adding to my 2024 list of problems. I went to my local Canadian Tire thinking that the mini just needed a new headlight bulb. But when I got home to put on my hat as a mechanic, and install this new part. I felt a little crunch while trying to remove the apparatus. And this is what I found. Evidently, a part of my headlight socket had burned to a crisp, resulting in no electrical connection for the Mini's headlight. So after doing some research online, I saw that the local Napa Auto Parts might have this particular part in stock. And so I went out and bought this baby. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be able to install this new part that I got and see if the baby mini will be able to actually see with two eyes again. Cause right now, low on energy and sleep, I'm feeling pretty tired. And I need to keep true my 2024 New Year's resolutions slash goals that I had made for myself just yesterday. Firstly, today, we'll start off with a belated birthday shout out to the nephew who personally requested for a longer birthday greeting this year. So here for you is a mini compilation of the one we nicknamed Blueberry and his many times that he has appeared in previous Laugh From Last Week episodes. This belated birthday shout out goes out to you, Jared. Happy birthday, Jared. We've also got a belated birthday greeting to somebody that has traveled to Mexico when I was there in November and who has followed in my footsteps traveling to Hawaii when I left there in December. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ninong Drake. Happy birthday, Ninong Drake. Next on the birthday list, we got a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made going to dance classes with them at Jean Studio when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carly. Happy birthday, Carly. 
We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my buddies that I made when he was at FSAT going to U of T. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marvin. Happy birthday, Marvin. Up next, we got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made when I was a CA back during our YSIC days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Matthew. Happy birthday, Matt. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends who I remember hanging out with back in the day during her fam jams at Car Luke. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ia. Happy birthday, Ia. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But now, on to today. After passing out in the den after having absolutely no sleep post night shift on Tuesday, the wife and I headed to the Saga home for me to take a nice relaxing nap on the reclining couch before taking the one-eyed mini to see Tito Jan with the tools that he has that I don't currently have, helping us install in the dark after his work, in the winter cold and in the rain with me holding the flashlight, the brand new headlight socket that I bought just yesterday. And now, believe it or not guys, the mini is able to see with both eyes. Now we have two lights. Lights. <laughs> Two lights. <laughs> Thanks, Tito Chan. So yeah, going back to my New Year's resolutions, that is officially my first new learned skill out of three that I had learned this year in my year-long goal. And while we're on the topic of that goal list for 2024, I gotta be consistent by doing my 20 daily push-ups as well as my daily 10 stand-up sit-ups here at the condo before wrapping it up for the day tonight at the stroke of midnight. Guys, we got a big milestone that I forgot to mention to y'all earlier. Since the time my buddy Greg subscribed to the Jaywalker POV channel, 200 <laughs> subscribers! <laughs> yeah! <Hey. laughs> Resulting in me getting 200 subscribers. I just want to let y'all know that just in time for 2024, the Jaywalker POV channel has officially reached 300 subscribers. So I just want to thank all y'all, my fellow Jaywalkers out there, who have past, present, and future subscribed to and continue to support the channel. Plus, a couple days ago, when the wife and I went research shopping at Home Depot post-shift for our next new fridge, she just recently told me that she purchased online a new fridge via Costco. And what was the determining factor, you ask? It was the delivery and installation, the hallway of our old fridge, and the Costco two-year warranty. But anyways, today, going back to the times where I surprised the cousin Faye dressing up while watching the original version of this show. <laughs> I made it! Dum, num, 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 num. The wife and I tuned into Netflix to watch the reality show of The Squid Game the challenge. And honestly guys, this show has got us hooked with many of the games and scenes that remind us of the original. And this warning that popped up on our Netflix account that was eventually resolved. We honestly had reactions like this being on the edge of our seat while watching this show. Oh! <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh! But moving on, going to the local Royal Kanji to pick up some takeout food for the night. We'll enjoy this food for dinner while watching a little bit more of Squid Game. And I'll just catch y'all again tomorrow. So after actually staying home all day, binge watching this 10 episode series, while enjoying these amazing ube white chocolate chip cookies that our family friend had made us. Thanks, Jolene. The wife and I with some of these reactions at the end. Oh. 
had finished Squid Game The Challenge. But now, on to today, where we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering meeting first at Good Shepherd. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jimmy. Happy birthday, Jimmy. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah guys, on to earlier today where I was busy editing the new Jay Walker POV live from last week, 2024 intro that you guys had seen at the beginning of this episode. I dropped off the wife for her night shift this evening before heading to a place in Toronto that I've always wanted to check out to meet up with my buddy Scott who we last saw a couple weeks back to check out this dueling pianos event right here near Bathurst in front called Stacked Market. Now that, last night was an amazing experience. From first, meeting up my buddy Scott, singing tunes at the top of our lungs. Sing what I want it way. To being introduced to his group of friends who welcomed me with open arms. To being a part of a birthday celebration spearheaded by my new friend Amanda of whose brother's birthday we were all celebrating and even sharing some of their birthday cake with me Terrible time! <laughs> oh my god, um, I got a request here first to also them allowing me to take home these cake glasses that you see me wearing here <laughs> I came away with some glasses! <laughs> the wife is definitely gonna make me for this All in all, I had an amazing time last night and afterwards as a midnight snack i was able to go to my local mcdonald's to use some mcdonald's points that i accumulated since last year getting a free cheeseburger happy meal while going through the mcdonald's drive through with my brand new glasses on and being pretty hungry when i got home that midnight snack slash meal definitely satisfied my appetite but alas, this morning, after taking a quick four hour nap before going back downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift, we went to a familiar local Wendy's slash Tim Hortons to pick up some breakfast. Going back to the Saga home to enjoy this Baconator breakfast sandwich full with bacon, sausage, egg, and cheese, supplemented with their wedges, which I honestly thought were amazing. It's so good. It's actually pretty good. And after my morning meal was done, we went to the Vaughn slash Woodbridge area to drop off the wife between her shifts to do a walkthrough for a wedding that she's coordinating later this year at this beautiful place called the Arlington Estate before trying to fulfill another New Year's goal that I made this year, going to, for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode, the one and only Planet Fitness, but this time at the Woodbridge location, to do some quick exercises in the form of the 30 minute Planet Fitness workout while waiting for the wife to be done before picking her up to take her back to Scarborough to finally take her post night shift nap. And guys, this evening, well, we're back at it again. But this time driving in the new snowy slash winter-like conditions all the way back to downtown Toronto 
with my windshield wipers once again being stubborn and not doing their job in order to drop off the wife at the hospital for her night shift tonight. And so, before I try to sleep early, in order to go back downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift in the morning, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my volleyball friends who I'm remembering last seeing and playing alongside with several months back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jerome. Happy birthday, Jay. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So today, guys, has been a relatively busy day. From first waking up early after getting a four-hour nap to pick up the wife from her night shift downtown, then heading over to Tito Mone and Tito Eddie's place to have a belated Happy New Year lunch with them. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Then getting the assistance of Tito Eddie to help me get rid of the frustrating wiper problem that I've been having with the mini, Reinstalling a new wiper to finally have ourselves a clear windshield. Also, while in the area, looking at Facebook Marketplace deals. Considering I've always wanted to try this out and keeping in mind the three new skills I'm trying to learn by the end of 2024. With also being inspired by a couple of friends, Sean, Jason, and family friend, JJ Pasco. I made my first Facebook Marketplace purchase of 2024. Buying this mini Newmark DJ to go to DJ controller, with which I'm hoping to learn new DJ skills and bust out some new mixes sometime in the future. I then headed to the Scarborough Town Center to check out for the first time the recently opened IKEA City store here. Grabbing a couple of bags of the wife's favorite veggie medallions and mashed potatoes that will complement our dinner later on tonight. But anyways, this evening, we wrapped up the night by going to the Sunday Catholic Night Mass at the St. Lawrence Martyr Church before ending it with editing some live from last week footage that we got over the past week. So, starting off the day, after getting one of the best sleeps I've had in a while, the wife had made us some delicious Indomie, which reminded me of the times I went to Bali last year and enjoyed their Indonesian breakfasts. I also got around to finally opening up a card from one of my American friends who I ran into and met in Mallorca, who had also actually sent me another holiday card last year. Thank you so much for this, Amber. And just to let you know, every year around this time, I always look forward to getting a holiday card from you. Y la próxima vez, espero que puedes me escribirlo en español. Gracias, Amber, otra vez. And I hope that you also had a happy holiday. And afterwards, in the afternoon, I had a nice, light, easy, stationary bike exercise workout while watching some YouTube videos on DJing to pass the time, being excited to try out my new toy that I bought just yesterday before realizing that I was actually on the bike for over an hour. I had also decided to try my hand at a new skill, seeing this recipe online and bake some cookies. So here I am trying to get all my ingredients together with a couple of my overripe bananas and dumping them into the mixing bowl, adding one quarter of a cup of almond butter here, as well as one and a half cups of quick oats to the bowl, mixing all these babies up together, as well as getting the wife to chop up half a bar of Icelandic chocolate that she got overseas, which you remember I dropped her off at that airport that one time. Which means I don't speak Icelandic. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. Then adding these sweets to the bowl, putting some saran wrap on the container and placing it into the fridge for about 15 minutes or so before taking a pan and coating it with some vegetable oil and scooping out some cookie batter and placing them in individual blobs all over the pan. And after preheating the oven at 350 degrees Celsius, I placed the pan in the oven to cook the cookies for about 12 to 15 minutes. Although the video does show that I took the pan out a little too early, had them rest on the stovetop for a little bit, then transfer them from the baking sheet all the way to the Tupperware that was placed 
at the side. But once I did see that one of the cookies were cooled down enough, I got to try a sample of my creation. And with the Icelandic chocolate, the cookies tasted pretty good. But anyways guys, before I wrap it up for the night, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FCAR friends who I'm remembering jamming with as well as hanging out with back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Melvin. O tanjobi omedetou gozaimasu. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And so, with that guys, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.